I will start with a disclaimer saying that this here is a custom build. Each one that you want to make is going to be custom to your vehicle and the fridge that you have. So keep that in mind when I give you uh, instructions how I did things. I made the tray 40 millimeters or 4 centimeters wider and longer which would give me a gap of 2 centimeters on all sides of the fridge when it was sitting in the tray. Moving on from the tray, I moved on to the drop arms. Now I have to say though, when I was making the drop arms, I was a bit restricted from me recycling these here arms, well the bolting plate can we call it, and then the sliders. Because the sliders are only five, 550 mil long, I could only come so far out from the, uh, my base. Therefore, it restricted how far I could space my drop arms and how much drop I could have from my fridge. That is why I said in one of my comments earlier that I recommend that you buy sliders that are equal to the length of your fridge. The side plates on the sliders is four millimeter. The drop arms is six millimeter. My clevis uh, pin and the bolts at the bottom here are M8. So they're eight millimeter. The clevis pin that I made, to get the measurements right, the easiest way for me was basically was that I built everything up. I layered it. I started with the, uh, the side plate, put a washer in there, then I put the drop arm, the other washer, and then I, I uh, marked it and then I drilled a two millimeter hole. Once after I drilled a hole, I'm, I put everything together here. I cut the head off. I, I combed out the hole a little bit, the eight millimeter hole, and then I welded it all together. When I did do the welding, I did have everything together, assembled together, so that it kept the pin straight. So all my pins, I was lucky enough that all of them were straight. Now down on the bottom, what I did, I'm, basically I'm doing an experiment. What I did here, I used an M8 bolt and it's still threaded from the, the drop arm through to my tray. So what I'm doing, I want to see Will, will this wear first or will this wear first? Whatever, I'm going to do an experiment for this year, see how it goes this summer. And whatever works and lasts the longest, I will change either one around. Also, as I said earlier, I want to have, to, I, what I did, I built into my drop slide 22 centimeter drop. Now, the difference, the 22 centimeters is basically from this here pin up to this here pin. Now, I couldn't go any, I couldn't go with a deeper drop because I was restricted. When you watch here, my swing, I come up nearly to my base plate or the mounting plate or the platform in my truck. And the reason why I'm coming so close to that is basically because I recycled my old runners or my slides here. Had I went with a say 600 mil, I would have been able to get further drop and been farther out from my mounting plate. You can see I have three holes here. I actually had to experiment to find out where the swing was before I, I drilled the final hole for the M8 bolt. Moving on to my swing arm. What I did, I basically did it in sections. The lower section for the drop arm, as my drop arm then this here extension and then finally my handle as you can see there now my handle if you see there I actually measured wrong I initially thought I could get away with having it a little bit shorter closer to the top of my fridge but once I had the fridge sitting in here I was actually 
the handle actually was not clearing so I had to add 60 millimeter extension on that to get the clearance for rotation on my fridge on my drop arms what I've done here also to save a little bit of weight because this here once it was fully assembled was quite heavy I drilled 20 millimeter holes I think they were around uh, 15 centimeters apart then cut it out in between there's still all kinds of strength here there's no problem whatsoever considering it is six millimeter steel and then what I'm, I'm thinking about doing is in my arms here maybe take a little bit out of here too and then in my tray you can see here I drilled all kinds of holes all around it to save a little bit of weight whether it makes a difference or not I don't know but it didn't it didn't compromise the strength of my tray anyways also it gave me a place to run my straps through which hold the fridge in place the rotating handle what I've done here basically is I welded M8 bolts on the back washer into the drop arm extension part the tab acts like a stop against the extension part and it has no problem holding the weight so that I can operate the drop slide up and down okay what else do I want to add basically the important factors are is that your pins equal lengths on the top and the bottom and they got to mirror each other on both sides and the same would be with your drops if you're dropping 20 centimeters or 22 like I did equal at all the dropping points and another point is wherever you mount it make sure it is secure as long as it's secure there because that is the most vital point it's going to take all the weight and if that there can handle it drop slide is going to have no problem whatsoever I hope this video is helpful and it gives you an insight how I did mine and I'll tell you right now talking into a telephone doing this here is not easy maybe I'm camera shy I don't know what it is but I hope you got it I hope you got the gist of it and good luck with making your own Thank you.